We have two similar triangles. The reason you know they're similar is because of these angle markings. For instance, the angles that have one arc mark on them are corresponding between the triangles. And then if all of the, tri all of the angles in a triangle are congruent to all of the angles in another triangle, then you're going to have two proportional figures there. So in other words, that means if on the smaller triangle I have a 3 here, what did I do to go from 3 to 12 in the other triangle? I had to multiply by 4 to get that. So on this side here of the smaller triangle, it corresponds to this side. It has no measure. But since I multiplied by 4 to go from the small triangle to the large one, I still multiply by 4 here. And if I do that, I get a side length of 16 there. So now the area, you have to find the area of each triangle. Remember, area is one-half base times height, or you can multiply the base and height together and then divide by 2. 12 over 2 comes out to be 6, 6 square inches. And then on the other triangle, you have 16 times 12 and then divide by 2. 16 times 12 is going to turn out to be 192. And then if you divide that by 2, you end up with 96 square inches. Now remember, the objective is to find the ratio of the areas of the triangles. So this one has a 6, and this one has a 96. So you write them like this, 6 and then colon 96. But you have to simplify that. 6 can go into itself one time and 6 goes into 96 16 times. So the ratio of the small triangle area to the large triangle area is 1 to 16.